Welcome to another 30 Minutes with the Low, who puts a high in your viewing entertainment. Joining us today is an actress who hails from Maryville, Utah. Mention of her name brings to mind a multitude of films in which she has entertained us. More recently, however, she has taken to the stage here in Los Angeles and has been captivating audiences with the range of her acting ability in a variety of roles. It's with pleasure that we again introduce you to Marie Windsor. His adventures began innocently enough in Baltimore. Since then, he has met far more challenging situations fighting alongside John Wayne and fending off the likes of mole people, giant tarantulas, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. This intrepid individual is John Agar. Also appearing with us today is Eric Morris, an actor with a lengthy list of credits in the performing media. He is also the co-author of a book about his chosen craft. On the surface, at least, the title would appear to be a paradox. It is No Acting, Please. No doubt an explanation will be forthcoming. And now here is your host, a man of the half hour, Skip B. Lowe. Marie, tell me, you are married to a real estate man. Yes, a very uh, handsome, <laughs> capable, wonderful man. Did you know that, John? <laughs> yes, I did. You did. Uh, oh, yes. You do. It's Jack, it's, his last name is Jack? Hup. Hup. No. Yeah, and he's in Beverly Hills real estate? And that's where his offices are, uh -huh. but he handles everything from the strip to the beach. Does he really? I see. How long have you been married? Uh, a little over 31 years. 30? And how many children do you have? To? Uh, just one between just us. One. I have a stepson. Uh -huh. Ah, I see. John, you're married. You've been a long time since that Shirley yes. Temple. Uh, you were your first wife. After your first, you married uh, again. Loretta is her name. Loretta? Loretta. Uh -huh. yes. She's a darling. Is she really? Oh. How long have you been married to her? Well, let's see. Uh, it'll be 35 years, May 16th. And you have two boys, huh? We have two boys, uh -huh. yes. Are they in the business? No, they're smart enough not <laughs> to get in it. <laughs> you know something, John. Did you know that Marie Windsor right now is in a hit show here in West Hollywood, at, well, I should say, in Hollywood, really, at the Melrose Theater. That's it's, marvelous. It's a wonderful show, I hear. It's just the reviews are, tell us about it. The name of the show is Bar Off Melrose. The Bar Off Melrose. The Bar Off Melrose. Tell us about that. Well, um, it's uh, very interesting in many aspects. There are 40 actors in the show. 40? 40 actors. Uh, <gasps> oh. The play was written by 15 authors uh -huh. out of the uh, Oliver Haley Writers Lab, which is out of the Mark Taper. Uh -huh. And um, was, I guess together with Paul Kent and our brilliant... He's the director, Paul Kent. No, he isn't. He, isn't? he uh, is uh, one of the owners of the Melrose Theater. Oh, I see. Okay. And Bill Court, who is a <coughs> brilliant director, and Oliver Haley, they all got together, and I don't know the gory details of it, mm -hmm. but they decided on the premise of this show. So all, the, all these wonderful writers contributed to the show, uh -huh. and it, the setting is obviously a bar off Melrose. And uh, the, there's different segments of different people's lives, and Bill Court, uh, well, he will amaze you by his cleverness of manipulating 40 actors on and off that stage where there is never a break. It runs so smoothly. Uh -huh. It's a lot of fun. What is it about? Hollywood? Uh, the, uh, it's about movies. It's stars? about everything. Is it really? There's, there's something in it for everyone. Uh huh. Nice. And there's music. There's a very talented young man named David Rambo uh -huh. who plays the piano all the way through. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, a lovely singer, uh -huh. and um, but the play is getting such reviews. Yes, Dramalog we haven't gave, had really a negative yet. No, the reviews are just sensational. And, and Dramalog gave it a great review. When they give it a good review, forget it. You know. And Dan mm. Sullivan was very kind uh -huh. to us too. Yes, and it's packed. I understand. We're well, sold, sold for two weeks two at weeks. least. Uh -huh. And after the first two reviews came out. The theater got over 400 <laughs> calls for reservations. Isn't Marie, you love marvelous. to do theater, don't you? Yes. yes. And how about you, John? Have you, done, you like uh, theater? Have you done any theater lately? You, yeah, well, I haven't done any lately. I've done some, but uh, after uh, after I do it for about six weeks, uh -huh. you know, that uh, I've tried all the things I can figure out to try on the character I'm uh, portraying or uh -huh. trying to portray. Yes. Why? Then it begins to be a, a chore for me. It's so difficult to get get up 
uh -huh. every every uh, performance. Uh, how these people go on for one and two years back uh -huh. there in, in New York or you know on the road, uh, boy. That's Did you two ever made a movie together? I, yeah, uh, I, I think we did. Yeah. We're trying yeah. to remember. A Western, right? I I think we we did. I don't uh -huh. think we had any scenes together, but it seems like uh -huh. we were we were in a in a movie together over 20th Century Fox. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I just I just can't come up. John Agar, uh, tell me something. What? Shirley Temple. I mean, you were married to one of the uh, <laughs> well, one of the greatest little child actresses. Mm -hmm. In the world, really. That's right. Publicized, you know, Shirley Temple. How did you, how did you get to meet Shirley Temple? I mean, uh, it was uh, like, uh, I mean, you're from Chicago. You were from Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, Meat Packer's son from Chicago. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. Did you know that, Murray? He was no, a Meat Packer's son. Yeah. How did you meet Shirley Temple? No. Well, my mother was a friend of Zazu Pitts, mm -hmm. and Zazu Pitts lived right next door to uh, the Temple family uh -huh. in Brentwood, and uh, one Sunday. Uh, we went over and visited Zezu, and uh, Shirley came uh, came over, uh -huh. and that was when I first met her, and that was in 1943. 43. 43. Mm -hmm. 1943, mm -hmm. and uh, we were <clears throat> uh, but we I were married in 1945. But I understand David Oselznik had a lot to do with that. Is with, that true? With what? With your career? I mean, David O'Selznick? Tell me. David O'Selznick? Oh, it had a lot to do with my well, He's the guy that got me into the business. That's right. Tell me yeah. about that. What happened? Uh, well, uh, I was still in service. Right. And uh, I went, came home from a, 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 fur, a furlough and uh, I went to a party and met Mr. Selznick. And, uh, you went to the party with Shirley Temple? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, met Mr. Selznick, and he asked me what I was going to do when I got out of the service. And I hadn't really thought that much about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he said, have you ever done any, any acting? Uh -huh. you know, I, I'd never been in a play or any, you know, nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, athletics was my, my love. And mm -hmm. uh, so he said, well, think about it. I said, well, you know, and I thought he was putting me on, and I didn't pay any, really pay mu that much attention uh -huh. to it. Uh -huh. and I, I went back to my base, and a couple of weeks later, why, I got this thing in the mail. Under and contract, I bet. No, <laughs> well, wrong. No, he said, uh, he, said uh, he would like to test me. Uh-huh. And if he thought I had any ability, why, then he would like to put me under contract I to him. And uh, the thing that stuck out to me was he was going to pay me 150 bucks a week, mm -hmm. and I was making 83 dollars a month as a buck sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> so the mercenary part of me came to the uh -huh, fore, uh -huh. and uh, I said, "Well, hell, I'll give it a shot." Uh -huh. Oops, excuse me. Uh -huh. uh, but they, uh, uh, I studied uh, uh, acting and diction, though you can't tell it. You're under <laughs> under stock. Is that the days when they put people under oh, stock? Oh, well, that was the, those were the days when they had people under contract, contract. in the studio. Right, yeah. and they taught. And uh, then uh, about a year and a half later, I I got another lucky break. My mother and my sister went to uh, Hawaii uh -huh. for a vacation, uh -huh. and lo and behold, on the trip back on the Princess Luralene, I believe it was called, uh -huh. they were on the same ship and got to meet and talk with John and Mary Ford and Barbara, their daughter. Ah. And I came down to pick my mother and my sister up, and uh -huh. I met Mr. Ford. Uh -huh. And two weeks later, I was in his office, and <clears throat> I was being considered for a Fort part. Fort Apache. Well, it That's was not called Fort Apache. Uh -huh. It was called War Party. Okay. And it was later changed to Fort Apache. Uh, I see. Okay. But uh, that was that was your first. That was the first movie I made. Yeah. And yours, yeah. and yours, Marie. What was yours? Do you remember? Yes. You, I mean, was, you've been around Hollywood a long time, Marie Winter. Yes. Now, uh, it was a little movie out at Hal Roach called All American Coed, uh -huh. and Leroy Prince directed, and that's how I got my Gill card through him. Through Leroy, I see. Uh -huh. I think it was about 1942. 42. You've been out here a long time. Where you're from? You're from Utah. Utah. How did you get into films? 
I mean, what I decided you? when I was eight years old I wanted to be an actress, and uh -huh. uh, even though my no one in our family had ever acted or had any uh -huh. show business tendencies, my mother <coughs> and my grandmother and my well father, they never thought it, it was a ridiculous idea, and they did uh -huh. everything to encourage me and help me. You were determined to be an actress, and so you, that's, that's the secret. I really wanted to be Clara Bull, but <laughs> <laughs> that didn't quite you work You want to be out. the it girl? Uh, I want to be the it girl. Oh, and then you, you did a lot of westerns. How many westerns did you do, Marie? You did a I lot. I don't know. I would you did say several. about maybe 20. But you had that comical flair about you. That's, that's and I was good on a horse, right? <laughs> yeah. You had that comical flair about Thank you. You were wonderful. Did you study acting at all in Hollywood when you came out? Oh, my here? gosh. You did yes. study. I, it seems I never stopped studying. Stop studying. That's the secret. I, I hope that I, uh, it shows in my work. <laughs> it's all I've been through. I studied with uh, your guest here. Yes, Eric period. Morris is coming yes, on in a few a minutes. Wonderful right. Teacher. Yes, he is. Yes. But, John. John Agar, Shirley Temple, Mr. Shirley Temple, they used to call you. Mm. Remember? I mean, why do they call you <laughs> Mr. Why, why did you bring that up? I don't, I don't <laughs> know. It I just, I just, me. You don't mind. It's just they used to call you Mr. Shirley Temple. That's, uh, you know, yeah. those days. Well, I mean, you know, why the, Hollywood loves to bring well, people why, and tear them down? Why? Well, you answer this question for me, Skip. How come uh, they got the periodicals such as the Star and the Inquirer and, uh -huh. and all of that and all they want they don't want to write anything in there about uh, somebody that has anything wholesome no. or nice about no. it no. they want to run them down yes so that the people the next morning you know sitting across from the breakfast table if somebody's been in the beef they look right. and say look what so-and-so did I'm not so bad you yes. see <laughs> but you were a wholesome couple of America Shirley well, Temple I yes, tell you, I and think John Agar, we, you were. Well, I think we were too young. That's what you were I too think. Young. We were just too young to be married, and I see that today in so many uh, young uh -huh. people today that get married. They don't know what they're taking on. You uh -huh. know, it's mm -hmm. a marriage is a is a situation yes. that is yes. just not mm -hmm. uh, you know all fun and games. Yes. But you, you can't regret things like oh, that. Oh, I don't it's regret it. It's I all regret part, of it. part of development and life. Oh, and that's sure. the way it's part of living. Exactly. Yeah. You can, oh, should no. never have to say. But you you're made sorry. two movies with your wife, Shirley Temple. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the second one was called Adventure Yellow? in Baltimore with uh, right. Robert Young, yeah. and uh, uh, that uh, that film was was the second was the second movie I made. Mm -hmm. You don't see her anymore, do you? you ever see her? I haven't seen Can't Shirley, you? or I haven't seen our daughter. You haven't seen your daughter? No, not really? for years and years. Really? No. I no she's 38 years old. She's now. 38. Yeah, I'm getting to be an old buffer. <laughs> and tell me about your your children. Are they in the business, Marie? Well, my Any stepson is 38. Uh, we see s some of him. Uh -huh. And my son is in San Diego State University going into business marketing computers and things uh -huh. like that uh -huh. but you're a very busy lady i mean I'm you're not just yes you are oh, you're yes, a very busy oh, yes. lady I you do a lot of charities keep busy. you keep busy why do you keep busy marie windsor i mean why, why? not but, <laughs> but you do a lot of things like what i mean your, well, your day I, is I, like i sometimes wonder if i don't do a lot of things to avoid housework but then on the other hand, <laughs> I always have far many more projects than I'm able to accomplish. But uh -huh. I'm very artistic. I work in enamels. I paint. You paint. I, that's that's. Um, I write. Do you your I paintings? go to writing school when I run out of uh, classes that I'm no, interested in. Keeps I'm working on a script right now. Uh -huh. I belong to a theater group. I'm on the board of. Uh, the motion picture and yes, TV fund. Mm -hmm. I've been on the board of Screen Actress Guild for nearly 25 years. And uh, why, well, Marie as you Winter, say, I'm very just, busy. You're very busy lady. And this gentleman, you st and you studied acting with Eric Morris. Yes. He's a great, great teacher, isn't he? He's yes, wonderful. That. Yes. And, and he's had people like Jack Nicholson. He has. I'd like to bring him on right now. I'd like you to meet him, Johnny. I'd love His name to. is Eric Morris. Hello, Eric. Hi, Skip. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. You know Marie, of course. naturally. We've already said hello. Right. How are you? Good to see you. I just want to say, the first thing I want to say, my first movie was Monkey on My Back. The Barney Ross story. Barney. I did it in 57. Right. And I worked for Ted Post, and then they changed directors in midstream, Andre de Toth. Uh -huh. I was just thinking, I can't remember the second movie, but 
it's uh, when you're talking about first movies. So what was my first movie? It was 1957. Was it 57? Yeah, 57. Monkey yeah. on my, my back. back. It was the Barney Ross yes, story. Yes, yes. I played a soldier, and uh, I had a nice little part. It was my first picture. Uh -huh. I thought, I thought this is it. This is it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I realized the journey started. <laughs> the journey. But you studied at Northwestern, and yes. that is one of the finest dramatic coaches. I mean, teachers in, in Northwestern schools. Yeah, schools. it's a very it's respected school. university. Yes, it is. Although I'm not really too. Uh, behind university training. I think it's wonderful mm -hmm. that people go to universities and learn the theater. I would never uh, trade my theatrical education, but uh -huh. uh, the, I don't think there's a university in the country that actually prepares people for professional acting. You have to study with the professionals, you know. But your, your thing is be yourself. Be who you are. Be yeah. whoever you are. Where truth that comes from. Truth, that's right. Truth comes that's, from truth. And you do you believe that, Marie? Do you believe that? Yes, actor? very much. It's a uh, little difficult when you are playing Queen Elizabeth to be yourself. But they're always, I believe, from my point of view, you're able to use things of your personality to make it seem mm -hmm. more real. Uh -huh. I mean, there's nothing in your personal life you can associate with being a queen. Yes. But you must there are parallels. Yes. You can draw parallels. Of course, you can't be a queen, uh -huh. but you, you actually, when you act, you uh, ventilate facets of yourself that uh -huh. are closely paralleled with the character uh -huh. because uh, emotion is emotion, reality uh -huh. is reality. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But of course, the imagination plays a big part in acting. Uh -huh. This is your first book? First book, yeah. No right. acting, please. Right. Now, what does this mean? Explain that to me. Uh, I just... Beyond the Method, a revolutionary approach yeah. to acting and living. Yeah. Uh, I wrote this with Joan Hotchkiss, my other two books I wrote mm -hmm. alone. Uh, well, actually, the Stanislavski system uh, originated with Konstantin Stanislavski. Right. It was later brought into this country by Lee Strasberg, Stella Adler, Harold Clerman, mm -hmm. and Cheryl Crawford. And the group theater was formed. It, you know, you remember those days, the group theater. And, uh, was it the Actors Lab on the street? Oh, no. That, no, was, that, was, a, that was a splinter group. Oh, that was, was right it? behind Schwab's, the That's Actors right. Lab. That's right. the one I remember. And yeah. Clifford Odets used to run up and down the hill with chicken soup because right. he lived in uh -huh. Laurel Canyon. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. But, uh -huh. but the, uh, the group theater was the, uh, the New York uh, uh, group. That was Lee Strasberg, all of those people. Uh -huh. Kazan was in it. And what I mean by beyond the method is that I feel, sounds a little bit presumptuous and maybe a little pompous, but it happens to be the truth, so I can say it. I feel that uh, the system that I have created and innovated, and I have six books planned on it, three are written, mm -hmm. is uh, of my own uh, innovation invention based on the method. Of course, the underpinnings are Stanislavski. I was influenced right. by Lee Strasberg. Right. And then I kind of went off in my own direction. Is Kim Stanley influenced by... Uh, oh, yes. The, Kim is a, t is a wonderful actress. She's, and she's actress. a wonderful great. teacher. Yes. And she teaches, she teaches, a, she teaches yeah. the method. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a, a uh, approach of the method. Does yes. she teach your approach of your no, method? No. no. Nobody teaches my approach but me except uh, people I've trained. You know. I see. How about Geraldine Page? Geraldine Page is also a very good teacher and teaches uh, in New York, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's also a method actor, very influenced by... Um, Lee Strasberg, Lee Strasberg also, but she went to the Goodman Theater. Why is everybody I'm from Chicago too, John. Yeah. So yeah. she went to the Goodman Theater. Why is everybody? That's a great school, the Goodman. Yes. yes. Why is everybody influenced by Lee Strasberg? I mean, well, not everybody is. There's been I mean, there's, there's been know, an ongoing uh, feud Stella, between Stella, Stella and Lee. I, like Stella. I've yeah. studied I like with Stella, Stella a lot, and I she know. leans more toward what Eric is saying. Yes. Uh, use the imagination and not so much of yourself. Uh -huh. uh, but I think that Eric and Stella would agree in their techniques. Uh -huh. I do believe that as time goes on, acting uh, techniques change. I mean, what you're seeing on the screen today is not what you might have seen 10 years ago. Yes. With the stars like Meryl Streep and all, mm -hmm. they're using different techniques and they're using a different style and you must grow with it. I see. That's one of the points I believe Stella makes. I know um, Jack Colvin, someone uh -huh. I work with now, believes that. What do you think about that, Eric? Well, actually, uh, Stella and Lee had a feud for years and years and years. Essentially, uh, I was more influenced by Lee's approach than I was by Stella, and their feud was based on the point that Stella felt Lee misinterpreted Stanislavski, and he felt that she misinterpreted Stanislavski, uh -huh, uh -huh. and that feud went on to, their, to the day died. However, what I really believe is I believe that you can't discount inspiration and imagination. But you must have a consistent, specific, applicable, pragmatic process that you can depend on. And that's what I'm dedicating my life to. Oh, I see. See? Jack I see. Nicholson, he studies with you. 
No, he did. No, he a long did. time ago. Jack and I are good friends. We both studied with Marty Landau first. Uh -huh. We, he, Dean Stanton, Harry Dean, uh -huh, myself, uh -huh, uh -huh. Dick Bradford, a lot of other people were with Marty. And then when Marty went to Europe, I was forced into teaching. It was an accident. Ah, I, I started see. teaching by quite, quite by accident. By accident. I lost my teacher. In New York? Or here? No, here. here. Mm -hmm. And a girl by the name of Anne, I forget her last name, Raymond, called me and said, why don't you teach a class? I said, I'm an actor. I'm not a teacher. She said, well, I learned a lot from you when we were doing scenes uh -huh. together in uh -huh. Marty's class. So I started teaching, and it, God, it just became a calling, I guess. Well, you were a born teacher. Yes, he was. Yes. Uh, Kurt Conway said that. And I, I, I was amazed because I only did it self-defensively, Marie. I thought, my God, what am I going to do now? I am, I'm without but a teacher. How many films have you done? You've done 120. 120 films. Mm -hmm. And you did a lot. In, been in. Been when in. You say yeah. done. I'm in. I haven't started. In I know, I understand. But, but I've been in 120 films. Yeah, yes. but look at that face. Look at that face. Isn't that a great face? It's a great character great. face. Uh, maybe I'll get wonderful. an acting job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, See, the uh, young kids today, the young kids today are worrying how pretty they look and they don't take chances. Am I right, Eric? Well, that's all broad wonder. I mean, they take chances. Too. Oh, you do not, Marie. You took chances in your day. Sure. You were wonderful. I want to say something about Marie. I was yeah. standing over there. Marie's a very hard working actress. She is, yes. She worked yes. very hard in my class. Is I she? don't know how long you were with me, uh, about a year or so at I least. I think so. A very hard working, very serious, very dedicated actress. I think everything she does is serious. Marie Windsor is a very serious lady. She chips, she works at it, and she just mm -hmm. does it. Is that is that is that basically you, Marie? Yeah, but I, I laugh a lot while I'm doing it, while I'm being serious. You have a sense of humor with it. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, John? Have you uh, you studied acting? Uh, but what's new and exciting in your life right now? But you're doing. Didn't no. know he's doing. Uh, he's up for something right yeah, now. Yeah, he just went ahead and had a mask what? made. To well, I, now yeah, he's, he's morning, up for something. I'm I'm, I'm going to do a segment of that Twilight Zone on television really? next week. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, I went through a thing this morning, <laughs> which was really at six o'clock in the morning. I'll tell you if you want to get your attention, <laughs> quick. Uh huh. Have them make a mask of you. They put that whole thing over all you got. Got her two holes here to breathe uh -huh. through. What is that and called? It's some uh, kind of al algae, algae, algae yeah. or something. Uh -huh. some, it, but it sets up uh -huh. like cement. Yes, you know? right. It sounds like what you get in yeah. a pool. And it's <laughs> it's uh, it's frightening, isn't it? It's, well, I if would, you have I, any claustrophobia, yeah. Why, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd like to ask Eric a question. Yeah, sure. I my my feeling has always been about acting. One thing that sticks out to me is the most important thing is to listen. That's right. That's it. Right. And react huh? to what they're saying. That's right. right. If you listen to what they're saying, you, you even, I mean, on, in stage work, even if you should go up on your lines, if you're really listening, something will come out of you because you've got to react to it. That's it. It's that's true. it. That's it. Sure. Yeah. Involvement is the perfect. enemy to self-consciousness. Yeah. If you're involved with the other actor and affected by the other actor and you respond to that, yeah. that creates a reality in the relationship. Absolutely, uh -huh. I agree totally. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I agree with you. Now, what you're, what you're saying is act, but don't get caught at it. Uh -huh. No, I'm saying be <laughs> and express how you feel, yeah. and that's acting from my perspective. Yeah, you know, okay. The, the, the acting concept is people, you see, acting is acting. Mm -hmm. uh, W w the reason for the title of the book, No Acting, Please, of course, I love acting. However, what I mean by acting is when a person becomes presentational, who acts like he is or acting. she is feeling something that they're not experiencing. That I call acting. So well, if, you're experiencing, if you're experiencing what the character is supposedly feeling, then you're acting from a being place. That's, that's the delineation. But I mean, aren't there some very fine, you know, I, uh, I don't want to bring up any names because that would, would not be fair, but I can think of some very fine actors who've been in the business a long time. Me too. That play much over what they are, mm -hmm. uh, what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I yes. mean, uh, uh, what comes to my mind is, is somebody like, uh, you, you take uh, uh, Spence Tracy. Wonderful actor. Spencer Tracy, you never saw him get broad. Wonderful actor. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it was always, it was always mm -hmm. just under. Mm -hmm. It was always leaving that little mm -hmm. something extra to where he could go, where I see some very fine actors, mm -hmm. and I, I don't 
to uh, Do we have any right now? Do we have any good oh, actors God, right now? Who do we have? Hundreds. The well, young, I mean... Are you talking about favorites, people who I, who I admire? Or yeah, who do you think we well, have I, out there? I, young I, kids I like, today. Uh, well, there's some great, but Spencer Tracy, Frederick March, I mean, those, uh, Paul Muni, those, those yeah, are wonderful fine, actors. Right, but the now. present actors, well, one of my favorite people, of course, is Jack Nicholson, not because he's a friend, but because I think he's a courageous, risk-taking actor. Mm -hmm. I like Pacino, I like Bob De Niro, I like uh, Robert Duvall very much. Okay, leave that alone. And the, now, Geraldine if after, Page. No, no, after, now we have Youngers. The Youngers, not Jack Nicholson or D Robert De Niro. I'm talking about the young. You're Nicholson. talking like Sean Penn. That's, people like now that. you got it. All right, I, I, like, I like Timothy Who Hutton. Now? I think okay. he's a natural, mm -hmm. sensitive. intuitive, sensitive, yep. uh -huh. vulnerable yep. actor. I like okay. Sean Penn. Uh, this whole thing about the brat Do you like Sean Penn's attitude? That's what I well, don't like. Well, I think, I, what I, don't I, think like is, his I think he has a sameness about everything he does, which I think is a little bit of a cover behavior, but he's talented. Okay. He's talented underneath all that. Mary, who yeah. do you think we have as an actress out there, a young, young talent? I mean, you, you see a lot of things. Is Meryl Streep young enough? Uh, she's <laughs> cute. She does gimmicks. I, I, something about her little gimmicks she has. Meryl Streep is gimmicky for me. Uh, I, I am... Um, I think uh, Jessica Lange. I like Jessica Lange. I think Talented. Jessica Lange is, is a good little actress. I think there are a lot of and wonderful young actors young on actresses. the soaps. We do. On mm -hmm. the soaps? Yes. Oh, I think some you of watch the soaps? work they do it's great is training just ground for an actor. wonderful. Great training. You watch Every, soaps, day? Do you? Every day? Oh, yes. You're, I do. you're I'm hooked, hooked on, on soaps? Are you, John? No, hooked on soaps? No, no, no. no? Please. By the way, uh, yeah. I want to sneak in a little thing. We've got 40 wonderful actors in our right. play, yes. and I hope Eric will come and see. I will definitely come I think for all those actors, you'll find a tremendous amount of the honesty that you're talking about here thanks to our director Bill Court and uh, um, Haley who is a brilliant man too who helped put this together. How long is, that, how long is the play going to be? At there? least six weeks more. Six more? I will see it definitely. You hear the reviews are great. Oh, I haven't seen the reviews. I just want to sneak that in on the comment. Right here. My cast just gave it. Look at that. Drama log just gave it. And they're nice people too. We all get along beautifully climbing over each other as we dress and How long is the play, Marie? It's a It's about two hours. Two hours? Uh-huh. I want to say that, uh, you know, I go to New York uh, a lot. Yeah, you I buy see a coast. Lot of yes, I buy, buy coast. I you teach, teach in New York? Yes, yeah. every other week. Uh -huh. But I want to say this. I see a lot of theater in New York, and the snobbery of the New York actor the, 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 uh, that's gone on for years, we have wonderful theater here. It equals New York. Stella and Adler said that. She said yeah. it's all coming out. It's coming out here. here. Yeah. This town is turning into a theater town. You know, I'm building a theater too. Yes, I know you oh, are. Good. Where? Yes, an equity on Coenga, an Equity Waiver Theater, 99 seat house, uh -huh. and I've established a bi-coastal theater organization, uh -huh. American New Theater. Uh -huh. I believe in theater, and this town is becoming a theater town. Uh -huh. That's you know? wonderful. Great. Right. Congratulations. But don't you Thank think you all the actors from New York are coming here though? Yeah, they, they go back and forth. You know, yeah, they go where the work is. Yeah, of course. We all do. California, there's a lot of work here. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's a nicer so, climate to act in. Yeah. I, John Agar, <laughs> you'll be doing your, uh, next week you'll be filming Twilight. Yeah. I wish you a lot of luck in that. Oh, thank you. And that was your, uh, your last film was, I was your last film. Right, right, right. King Kong? King Kong. Then I got, then I got very, very unhappy with what was going on in the picture here. I'm funny. I don't like to say those four-letter words. Oh, I see. And I don't think it has to be so graphic. No, no. But you know something, Marie, I'm coming to see you next week. Good. Well, I cut out a few four-letter words in my part. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> I want to go. I will, too. I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm here to show you. It's hard to get tickets, because I, I call Marie. And went to a party and met Mr. Selznick and... Uh, you went to the party with Shirley Temple? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, met Mr. Selznick and he asked me what I was going to do when I got out of the service. And I hadn't really thought that much about him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he uh, said, have you ever done any any acting? Uh -huh. You know, I, I'd never been in a play or any, you know, nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, athletics was my, my love. And mm -hmm. uh, so he said, well, think about it. I said, well, you know, and I thought he was putting me on, and I didn't pay any, really pay mu that much attention uh -huh. to it. Uh -huh. and I, I went back to my base, and a couple of weeks later, why, I got this thing in the mail. Under yeah. contract, I bet. No, <laughs> well, wrong. No, he said, uh, he said uh, he would like to test me. Uh-huh. 
And if he thought I had any ability, why, then he would like to put me under contract to him. And uh, the thing that stuck out to me was he was going to pay me 150 bucks a week. Mm -hmm. And I was making $83 a month as a buck sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> so the mercenary part of me came to the uh -huh, fore, uh -huh. and uh, I said, well, hell, I'll give it a shot. Uh -huh. Oh, excuse me. Uh -huh. uh, but they, uh, uh, I studied uh, uh, acting and diction, though you can't tell it. You're under under stock. Is that the days when they put people under uh, stock? Oh, well, that was, those were the days when they had people under contract in the studio. Right, and yeah. they taught. And uh, then uh, about a year and a half later, I, I got another lucky break. My mother and my sister went to uh, Hawaii uh -huh. for a vacation. Uh -huh. And lo and behold, on the trip back on the Princess Luralene, I believe it was called, uh -huh. they were on the same ship and got to meet and talk with John and Mary Ford and Barbara, their daughter. Uh -huh. And I came down to pick my mother and my sister up, and uh -huh. I met Mr. Ford. Uh -huh. And two weeks later, I was in his office, and <clears throat> I was being considered for a Fort part. Fort Apache. Well, it That's was not called Fort Apache. Uh -huh. It was called War Party. Okay. And it was later changed to Fort Apache. Uh, I see. Okay. But uh, that was... That was your first? That was the first movie I made. Yeah. And yours in Hollywood, really, at the... Melrose Theater. That's it's, marvelous. It's a wonderful show, I hear. It's just the reviews are... Tell us about it. The name of the show is Bar Off Melrose. The Bar Off Melrose. The Bar Off Melrose. Tell us about that. Well, um, it's uh, very interesting in many aspects. There are 40 actors in the show. 40? 40 actors. Uh, <gasps> the play was written by 15 authors. Uh-huh out of the uh, Oliver Haley Writers Lab, which is out of the Mark Taper. Uh -huh. And um, was, I guess together with Paul Kent and our brilliant... He's the director, Paul Kent. No, he isn't. He, isn't? he uh, is uh, one of the owners of the Melrose Theater. Oh, I see. Okay. And Bill Court, who is a <coughs> brilliant director, and uh -huh. Oliver Haley, they all got together, and I don't know the gory details of it, mm -hmm but they decided on the premise of this show. So all, the, so all these wonderful writers contributed to the show, uh -huh. and it, the setting is obviously a bar off Melrose. And uh, the, there are different segments of different people's lives, and Bill Court, uh, will, he will amaze you by his cleverness of manipulating 40 actors on and off that stage where there is never a break. It runs so smoothly. Uh -huh. It's a lot of fun. What is it about? Hollywood? Uh, the, uh, it's about movies. It's stars? about everything. Is it really? There's, there's something in it for everyone. Uh huh. I see. And there's music. There's a very talented young man named David Rambo uh -huh. who plays the piano all the way through. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, a lovely singer. Uh -huh. And. Um, but the play is getting such reviews. Yes, Dramalogue we haven't gave. had really a negative yet. No, the reviews are just sensational. And, and Dramalogue gave it a great review. When they give it a good review, forget it, you know. And Dan mm. Sullivan was very kind uh -huh. to us, too. Yes. And it's packed, I understand. We're well, sold, sold for two weeks, two at weeks. least. Uh -huh. And after the first two reviews came out, the theater got over 400 <laughs> calls for reservations. Mm, you love marvelous. to do theater, don't you? Yes. yes. And how about you, John? You, about, you like theater? Have you done any theater lately? You, yeah, well, I haven't done any lately. I've done some, but uh, after uh, after I do it for about six weeks, uh -huh. you know, that uh, I've tried all the things I can figure out to try on the character I'm uh, portraying uh -huh. or trying to portray. Yes. Why? Then it begins to be a, a chore for me. It's so difficult to get get up uh -huh. every every uh, performance. Uh, how these people go on for one and two years back uh -huh. there in, in New York or, you know, uh -huh. on the road, uh, boy. Did you two ever made a movie together? I, yeah, I, I think we're trying you did. to yeah. remember. We're trying yeah. to Western, remember. Right? I, I think we, we did. I don't uh -huh. think we had any scenes together, but it seems like uh -huh. we were, we were in, a, in a movie together over 20th Century Fox. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
Uh-huh. And uh, uh, I just I just can't come up. John Agar, uh, tell me something. What? Shirley Temple. I mean, about, you were married to one of the, uh, <laughs> well, one of the greatest little child actresses mm -hmm. in the world, really. That's right. Publicized, you know, Shirley Temple. How did you, how did you get to meet Shirley Temple? I mean, uh, it was uh, like, uh, I mean, you're from Chicago. You were from Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, Meat Packer's son from Chicago. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. Did you know that, Murray? He was no, a Meat Packer's son. Mm -hmm. Because, how did you meet Shirley Temple? No. Well, my mother was a friend of Zazu Pitts, mm -hmm. and Zazu Pitts lived right next door to uh, the Temple family uh -huh. in Brentwood. And uh, one Sunday, uh, we went over and visited Zazu, and uh, Shirley came uh, came over, uh -huh. and that was when I first met her, and that was in 1943. 43. Mm -hmm. 1943, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we were, <clears throat> uh, but we were married in 1945. But I understand David Oselznik had a lot to do with that. Is with, that true? With what? With your career. I mean, David Oselznik. Tell me. David Oselznik oh, had a lot to do with my career. Well, he's the guy that got me into the business. That's right. Tell me yeah. about that. What happened? Uh, well, uh, I was still in service. Right. And uh, I went, came home from a... Uh, uh, for a furlough and uh, uh, and yours, Marie. What was yours? Do you remember? Yes, you, I mean was, you've been around Hollywood a long time, Marie. Winter. Yes. Now uh, it was a little movie out at Hal Roach called All American Coed, uh -huh. and Leroy Prince directed, and that's how I got my Gill card through him. Through Leroy, I say, huh? I think it was about 1942. 42. You've been out here a long time. Where you're from? You're from Utah. Utah. Right? How did you get into films? I mean, what I decided when I was eight years old I wanted to be an actress, and uh -huh. uh, even though my, no one in our family had ever acted or had any uh -huh. show business tendencies, my mother <coughs> and my grandmother and my well father, they never thought it, it was a ridiculous idea, and they did uh -huh. everything to encourage me and help me. You were determined to be an actress, and so you, that's, that's the secret. I really wanted to be Clara Bull, but <laughs> <laughs> that didn't quite you work You want to be out. the it girl? Uh, I want to be the it girl. Oh, and then you, you did a lot of westerns. How many westerns did you do, Marie? You did a I lot. I don't know. I would you did say several. about maybe 20. But you had that comical flair about you. That's, that's and I was good on a horse, right? <laughs> yeah. You had that comical flair about Thank you. You were wonderful. Did you study acting at all in Hollywood when you came Oh, my here? gosh. You did yes. study. I, it seems I never stopped studying. Stop studying. That's the secret. I, I hope that I, uh, it shows in my work. <laughs> it's all I've been through. I studied with uh, your guest here. Yes, Eric period. Morris is coming yes, on in a few a minutes. Wonderful right. teacher. Yes, he is. Yes. But, John... John Agar, Shirley Temple, Mr. Shirley Temple, they used to call you. Mm. Remember? I mean, why do they call you <laughs> why, Mr. Why did you bring that up? I don't, I don't <laughs> know. It I just, it just me. you don't mind. It's just they used to call you Mr. Shirley Temple. That's, uh, you know, yeah. those days. Well, I mean, you know, why the, Hollywood loves to well, bring people why, and tear them down? Why? Well, you answer this question for me, Skip. How come uh, they got the periodicals such as the Star and the Inquirer and, uh -huh. and all of that and all they want they don't want to write anything in there about uh, somebody that has anything wholesome no. or nice about no. it no. they want to run them down yes so that the people the next morning you know sitting across from the breakfast table if somebody's been in the beef they look right. and say look what so-and-so did I'm not so Welcome to another 30 Minutes with the Low, who puts a high in your viewing entertainment. Joining us today is an actress who hails from Maryville, Utah. Mention of her name brings to mind a multitude of films in which she has entertained us. More recently, however, she has taken to the stage here in Los Angeles and has been captivating audiences with the range of her acting ability in a variety of roles. It's with pleasure that we again introduce you to Marie Windsor.
His adventures began innocently enough in Baltimore. Since then, he has met far more challenging situations fighting alongside John Wayne and fending off the likes of mole people, giant tarantulas, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. This intrepid individual is John Agar. Also appearing with us today is Eric Morris, an actor with a lengthy list of credits in the performing media. He is also the co-author of a book about his chosen craft. On the surface, at least, the title would appear to be a paradox. It is No Acting, Please. No doubt an explanation will be forthcoming. And now he is your host, a man of the half hour, Skip B. Lowe. Marie, tell me, you are married to a real estate man. Yes, a very uh, handsome... <laughs> Capable, wonderful man. Did you know that, John? <laughs> yes, I did. You did. Uh, oh, yes. You do. It's Jack. It's, his last name is Jack. Hup. Hup. No. Yeah. And he's in Beverly Hills real estate. And that's where his offices are. Uh -huh. But he handles everything from the strip to the beach. Does he really? I see. How long have you been married? Uh, a little over thirty-one years. Thirty. And how many children do you have? To? Uh, just one between just us. One. I have a stepson. Uh -huh. Ah, I see. John, you're married. You've been a long time since. That Shirley yes. Temple, uh, you were your first wife. After your first, you married uh, again. Loretta is her name. Loretta. Loretta. Uh -huh. yes. She's a darling. Is she really? How oh. long have you been married to her? Well, let's see. Uh, it'll be 35 years, May 16th. And you have two boys. Huh? We have two boys. Uh -huh. Yes. Are they in the business? No, they're smart enough <laughs> to get in it. <laughs> you know something, John? Did you know that Marie Windsor right now? It's in a hit show here in West Hollywood. And, well, I should say 